Good morning. Thank God bless everybody. Welcome to the live today. Uh, I just want to the Lord Jesus Christ and God is so good. So good for you. Amen. Tell it all. Today, Saint, I want to talk about what you just said this moment. I want to talk about which is. Which is. If there's anything that I would call this particular passage, the last book of the book of Psalms, it's broke down into five different versions. Which is very uh, lined up with also uh, five different points that Psalm brings about. Now, 107 starts the last stanza of the book of Psalms. Now, Saint, I want to say something to you. If you've ever in your life been at which end, this one's for you. Amen. Because Saint, there are times in our lives, but we just don't know what to do. Amen. The one Amen. thing that you better know how to do is pray. Amen. Amen. Pray. Because God will show you great and mighty things you know not if you pray. Amen. 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 No matter Amen. what your situation is, no matter how dire it is, no matter how extreme it is, God's got the power of peace to see you through. The power. Yes, he does. Now, today you're going to find us in Psalm 107, verses 28 to 36. Psalm 107. Verses 28 to 36. And I want to talk about which end. Which Amen. end. Amen. Good morning. Verse 20. Good morning. Psalm 107, verses 28 to 36. And today, if I would put a name on this particular study, on Moments with Messiah, it would definitely be called which end. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mother Ernestine. I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to ask you to read our scripture for us today. Amen. As we lift you up and praise you, magnify you, Lord, by your yes, hands, six thousand times. I could do yes. enough for what you're about to do each and every moment. Thank you, God. Hour, day, month, year of our lives. Because, God, you have blessings that are just untold. We got no idea how you're going to bless us. And, Father, we just thank you because we're always in perfect Yes, Lord. You know, just earnestly awaiting your blessing, earnestly mm -hmm. awaiting your correction, earnestly waiting for you to tell us what's next. And God, we need a word from you. Amen. 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 So we're going to thank you and praise you for what you're about to give us. We thank yes. you for the understanding. We thank you for the study. And God, let us look to God for the answer. But when we're at which end, in Jesus' Amen. name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Psalms 107, verses 28 to 36. Mother heart, please read that for us today. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bring them out of their distress. He makes the storm a calm. So that the ways there are of sea. Then they glad because they be glad. So he brings them into their desired haven. Oh, the man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for the wonderful work of the children of men. Let us exalt him also in the congregation of people and praise them in the assembly of the health. He turned rivers and his wilderness and water springs into dry ground. A fruitful land into barren for the wicked of them that dwell with him. He turned the wilderness into the standing water and the dry land into water springs. And there he makes the hungry to dwell that they may prepare a city of habitation. <laughs> Thanks. Let me say this to you. You know, God is so good. Yes, he is. You know, he is looking to us to pray. Yes. When we don't know what to do. 
Mm-hmm. And say, let me say something to you. That God is working all things together for the good right. of the love God and who are called according to his purpose. Yeah. Let, me say, let me tell you something. You got to believe that. Mm-hmm. You got to believe when you pray that God hears you. If oh. you always hear us say, you know, Lord, just hearken to our words, you give ear to our meditation. May the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in his sight. In his sight. Now, if your prayers wasn't making it, why would he say be acceptable in his sight? Uh-huh. It wouldn't make sense. I want you to realize something that Way back in 1982, a pastor by the name of Chris Ford, Ford, Chris Ford, began over in East Germany to have people to come together and pray. And year after year after year in this East Germany, the people came together every Monday. And they prayed. Six, seven, eight years went by. And the communist government never paid attention to them until the numbers were off the chain. Now, when you got three or four people praying, you may not think that's working. But let me tell you something. The communist country didn't notice until they had 70,000. But God was listening when it was two or three gathered together in his name. Amen. 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 Oh, come on, this one. Wake up now. Amen. Oh, I'm here to Amen. tell you that this man, this pastor, Chris Boyle, over in Germany, began to pray for peace, for something to change in Germany, Amen. in East Germany. And seven and eight years later, on October 9th, 
And I'm here to tell you something right now. It may be a long time coming. And I don't know who I'm talking to. It might be somebody on this line. They listen to me in battle after battle after battle. And you feel defeated in your spirit. But I'm here to tell you something. That God is with you. And don't be over. Listen. Don't be overwhelmed by your circumstance. Amen. Amen. Because if you move on circumstance, mm -hmm. all your life will be all over the place. Amen. Anything don't go right, you lose it. Anything don't line up, you start cussing. Amen. Don't go your way. There you go, you're angry again. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. But let me tell you something. When the Bible said we got to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the words of the Lord, knowing that our labor's not there at all, don't you think that your labor's in vain? Don't you Amen. think that your labor's in vain? Let me tell you, Amen. if you got to hold on to your change, come. Amen. Because just like that Berlin Wall came down, let me tell you something, there are situations and listen, complicated things in your life that will fall apart when you pray after a while. Amen. I pray for things a long time. Didn't have no time. Huh? Amen. There are times, I'm going to be honest with you, in my life, I thought God had threw my case in the trash. Amen. Amen. I almost settled. Come on, somebody. On the left, listen, you almost settled for the mess that you was going through. Amen. Because you were wondering to yourself, will it ever change? Well, my grandmama went through it, mama went through it, and I'm going through it, and my children going go through it. The devil is a lie. The devil Amen. is a lie. Amen. The devil is a lie. Because I'm here to tell you today that the Lord will do it for you. Amen. He will do it for you. He will. Amen. Amen. All of those years. Amen. All of those troubles. All of that torture. Amen. All of that communist regime complete Amen. fell apart Amen. Amen. you know you know it's not just a cliche that prayer changes things Amen. you know I can be in total pain and I say the devil you is a lie mm -hmm. I said this ain't mm -hmm. gonna pain me forever Amen. I know already on the other side of time I'm already healed Amen. I'm already healed Amen. Let me tell you something. When the Bible said he was wounded for your transgressions and bruised for your iniquity, and the chest of the peace was upon you, and by your stripes are healed, do you know Amen. every situation you're going through was already healed over 2,000 years ago when he went to the cross? Amen. Amen. You got illegitimate situations trying to take over your life. Amen. Illegitimate situations Amen. trying to take hold of your life. Mm. You know what? The Bible says, though a man thinketh, so shall he be. What you think about being? Mm. What you think? What you think? Mm. You thinking it'll never change? You mm. think it's this? Or do you think it's too big for God? Mm. Too hard for God? Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. You know, I, 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 I really wonder mm. if you heard what Mother said in verse 36. Bring it back. Bring back verse 36. And there he makes the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for the habitation. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you're hungry, God will build you a city. Mm -hmm. He'll put you in a place where you protect it, but no one can harm you. Give me verse 37. 37. And sow the field and plant vineyards, which may yield fruit of increase. That means that when you yeah. trust in God, your day is coming, your season is coming, that moment is coming. Listen, let me tell you something. But well, you're going to be in a fruitful place. Now, I don't care how many tears you cry. I don't care how many people tell you it's not going to happen. You tell them it's a lie. It is going to happen. Amen. You got to believe in your heart that God is going to make it happen. Now, give me verse 38. I'm going to leave y'all alone. He blessed them also so that they multiplied greatly and shepherd not their cattle 
to decrease. Okay. You hear that? Hmm. You hear that? Yes, Let me tell you something. God can stop all decrease in your life. Amen. Amen. Tell me today. Amen. I want you to hear me. I want you to say, God, come on, everybody. God, God. 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 can stop all decrease in my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let me tell you something. Give God the praise because I'm telling you, God has some things in the world for you. Let me tell you something. God can turn some things around for you. Yo, listen. Listen. You know, I got to say this. I'm going to get off the line. Listen. You know, when you see the, uh, the word tree in the Bible, let me, let me just teach for a minute. See, you have to realize something that the tree symbolizes you. Amen. Now somebody's saying, wait a minute, Pastor. That that sounds kind of a tree. Exactly. Because, first of all, you got to realize something that the tree has a trunk. And Amen. what is the trunk? The trunk is your central nervous system. That's your spinal cord. Amen. That's your spinal cord. The Bible says Amen. that the tree has limbs. Yes. What a limb. Those are your arms and your legs. Those are the limbs. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Yes. I want you to realize something that you are symbolized by a tree and the baby. Amen. Now, 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 do you remember when a man was blind? Mm -hmm. He was yes. and, and, and he spit on the ground and he took some dirt and he put on his eyes and he said, What yes. do you see? Yes. He said, I see men moving like trees. Is anybody in the world today? And let me tell you something, Saint. God will make your trees, your branches, your roots be fruitful. Are you listening to me? God don't want to ever see you not being fruitful. When he started a fig tree, let's stay in the word. Let's just stay in the word for a minute. When God started a fig tree, what did he do when him and his disciples were walking by? And that fig tree did not produce this fruit. When they came back by, he coached at the root. When he came back by, the tree was, listen, dried up. Amen. Now, why? Think it was that tree dried up? Let me tell you why. Because it didn't produce its fruit in its season. Amen. Uh huh. Say something. Might have been some season, But I'm here to tell you that your fruit is about to bear fruit in this season. Amen. 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 I'm here to talk to somebody. Thank you, God. I'm trying to let them know that your ladder is going to be greater than your former. Amen. I, 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 I want someone to realize. Yes, Lord. This is Amen. good. Yes. God yes, Lord. has not forgotten. Amen. 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 He wants you to be fruitful. Okay. Amen. He wants you to go forward. He Amen. wants you to be successful. Amen. Let me tell you something, what you got to do. You got to come to your wit's end. Yes. Oh, Amen. you thought I was on my subject, but I'm not. Amen. Oh, no. Amen. I'm not flipping this morning. You got to come to wit's end. Oh, man. Because, see, when I get to my wit's end, I'm at the point where I don't even know nothing to do but talk to God. Amen. Amen. Every Amen. way, shape, or form that I try to put it together, it didn't work. Just like I told you about Chris Foreman over there in East Germany. There wasn't nothing else he could do. I did this one path to come up against a whole communist regime. Amen. How could he knock down the Berlin Wall? How could Amen. he do it? He was just with that. He can't take a hammer and go out there and bang it down. Amen. How did he do it? He did it through Amen. prayer. Amen. Amen. And as he prayed, 
people joined in the prayer, and over 7,000 people prayed at one time, and God said, knock the damn wall down. Amen. You got to call Amen. to your wit's end. Amen. See, because let me tell you about what some of our problems are. Today. And I know I'm going on a little bit longer, but you know what? Somebody say, Pastor, I need to hear this. Amen. 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 Amen.
Bible 57, uh, 15, the NLT um, says, The high and lofty one who lives in eternity. The holy one says this, I live in the high and holy place with those whose spirits are contrite and humble. And I restore the crushed spirit of the humble and revive the courage of those with repentant hearts. Oh, 